The Davy lamp is a safety lamp for use in flammable atmospheres, invented in 1815 by Sir Humphrey Davy. It consists of a wick lamp with the flame enclosed inside a mesh screen. It was created for use in coal mines to reduce the danger of explosions due to the presence of methane and other flammable gases, called fire damp or mina damp. History. Davy's invention was preceded by that of William Reed Clanny, an Irish doctor at Bishop Weymouth, who had read a paper to the Royal Society in May 1813. The more cumbersome Clanny safety lamp was successfully tested at Harrington Mill, and he won medals from the Royal Society of Arts. Despite his lack of scientific knowledge, engine wright George Stevenson devised a lamp in which the air entered via tiny holes, through which the flames of the lamp could not pass. A month before Davy presented his design to the Royal Society, Stevenson demonstrated his own lamp to two witnesses witnesses by taking it down Killingworth Colliery and holding it in front of a fissure from which fire damp was issuing. The first trial of a Davy lamp with a wire sieve was at Hebburn Colliery on 9 January 1816. The news about Davy's lamp was made public at a Royal Society meeting in Newcastle on 3 November 1815 and a paper describing the lamp was formally presented on the 9th of November. For it, Davy was awarded the Society's Rumford Medal. Davy's lamp differed from Stevenson's in that the flame was surrounded by a screen of gauze, whereas Stevenson's prototype lamp had a perforated plate contained in a glass cylinder. For his invention, Davy was awarded £2,000, whilst Stevenson was accused of stealing the idea from Davy, because he was not seen as an adequate scientist who could have produced the lamp by any approved scientific method. A local committee of inquiry gathered in support of Stevenson, exonerated him, proved he had been working separately to create the Geordie lamp, and awarded him £1,000. But Davy and his supporters refused to accept the findings, and would not see how an uneducated man such as Stevenson could come up with the solution he had. In 1833 a House of Commons committee found that Stevenson had equal claim to having invented the safety lamp. Davy went to his grave believing that Stevenson had stolen his idea. The Stevenson lamp was used almost exclusively in northeast England, whereas the Davy lamp was used everywhere else. The experience gave Stevenson a lifelong distrust of London-based theoretical scientific experts. Design and Theory The lamp consists of a wick lamp with the flame enclosed inside a mesh screen. The screen acts as a flame arrester. Air can pass through the mesh freely enough to support combustion, but the holes are too fine to allow a flame to propagate through them and ignite any fire damp outside the mesh. It originally burned a heavy vegetable oil. The lamp also provided a test for the presence of gases. If flammable gas mixtures were present, the flame of the Davy lamp burned higher with a blue tinge. Lamps were equipped with a metal gauge to measure the height of the flame. Miners could place the safety lamp close to the ground to detect gases, such as carbon dioxide, that denser than air and so could collect in depressions in the mine. If the mine air was oxygen poor, the the lamp flame would be extinguished. A methane air flame is extinguished at about 17% oxygen content, so the lamp gave an early indication of an unhealthy atmosphere, allowing the miners to get out before they died of asphyxiation. Impact The introduction of the Davy lamp led to an increase in mine accidents, as the lamp encouraged the working of mines and parts of mines that had previously been closed for safety reasons. 
reasons. Men continued to work in conditions which were unsafe due to the presence of methane gas. Although extractive ventilation fans should have been installed to reduce the concentration of methane in the air, this would have been expensive for mine owners, and thus such fans were not installed. Illegal requirement for minimum air quality standards eventually led to the introduction of more ventilation. The lamps also had to be provided by the miners themselves, not the owners, as traditionally the miners bought their own candles from the company store. Another reason for the increase in accidents was the unreliability of the lamps themselves. The bare gauze was easily damaged, and once just a single wire broke or rusted away, the lamp became unsafe. Even when new and clean, illumination from the safety lamps was very poor, and the problem was not fully resolved until electric lamps became widely available in the late 19th century. Successes A modern-day equivalent of the Davy lamp is the Protector Gar 4th GR 6S flame safety lamp which is used for fire dam testing in all UK coal mines. A modified version of this lamp has been used in the Olympic flame torch relays. It was used in the relays for the Sydney, Athens, Turin, Beijing, Vancouver and Singapore Youth Olympic Games. It was also used for the Special Olympics Shanghai, Pan American and Central African Games and for the London 2012 Summer Olympics Relay. Lamps are still made in Eccles, Greater Manchester, in Aberdeen, South Wales and in Kolkata, India. A replica of a Davy lamp is located in front of the ticket office at the Stadium of Light which is built on a former coal mine. In 2015 Bersham Colliery in Wrexham, Wales, which is now a mining museum invited visitors to bring the Davy lamps and other industrial heirlooms to the museum for identification. The National Mining Museum Scotland at Newton Grange, Scotland, also celebrated the 200th anniversary of the invention. In 2016, the Royal Institution of Great Britain, where the Davy lamp prototype is displayed, decided to have the life-saving invention 3D scanned, reverse engineered and presented to the museum visitors in a more accessible digital format via a virtual reality cabinet. At first sight it appears to be a traditional display cabinet but has a touch screen with various options for visitors to view and reference the virtual exhibits inside.